G'day, Hugh. Hi, Tom. Now, the Turnbull government is your expert subject. <laughs> yes. You know you're at the ABC, yeah? <laughs> Can you hear the sound of assholes clenching in the live... <laughs> I'm just saying, because you're talking about the Liberal Party being good, and they're like, oh, hang on, the whole building's going to break. No, no, Tom, the Liberal Party is not good. Um, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> uh, but... No, you're not, because that's biased. <laughs> oh, but is, is it OK if you give the opposite opinion? That the Liberal Party is good? There I'm not go. going to say the Labor ABC Party is good. ABC Have you seen them <laughs> lately? <laughs> <laughs> you won the same debating trophy as Malcolm Turnbull, is that right? Yes, uh, he won it once and I won it twice, actually. Oh. <laughs> you and your friends covered the 2016 election on Facebook Live. We thought it would be a fun thing to do, put in a little bit of coverage, uh, you know, explain to other young people what's going on in the election. Thought it would be a bit important. Okay. How many viewers did you have? Oh, uh, 50, 60,000 odd. A few more than Q&A. <laughs> in September 2015, Malcolm Turnbull challenged PM Tony Abbott's leadership in a party room spill, citing Abbott's loss of how many news polls? Hugh. 30. Correct. We have lost 30 news polls in a row. It is clear that the people have made up their mind about Mr Abbott's leadership. Yeah, and then Turnbull went on to lose 38 news polls. <laughs> Under scrutiny in March 2018, Employment Minister Michaelia Cash was obscured from press gallery... By Hugh. a whiteboard. Correct! From press gallery TV cameras by what item of office equipment? A whiteboard is correct. She denied knowing anything about it, but it just looked a bit sus. Turnbull was accused of borrowing his 2016 election slogan, Continuity and Change, from which American political... Hugh? Veep. Correct. Which political TV comedy? The answer is Veep. The writers of the show said they tried to come up with the most meaningless election slogan they could think of. <laughs> Did you spot that straight away when they announced that slogan? No, I confess Veep is not one of my most favourite political dramas. What is your most favourite? Uh, I like Scandal, House of Cards. Insiders. <laughs> Australian <laughs> politics generally, I suppose. Are you the only one out of all your friends who's into politics? All of my friends are. Tom. All your friends are? Yeah. Really? It's a bit what, sad, isn't it? Do you get together and watch Insiders? You're like, come on, go Spears. No, no, seriously, my girlfriend wakes me up on Sunday morning to watch Insiders. <laughs> really? She does. <laughs> In 2017, the Turnbull government launched a postal plebiscite on which issue, Hugh? Marriage equality. Correct. <laughs> Last question in your set, Hugh. Turnbull was replaced by Scott Morrison after a 2018 spill. With which MP knocked out in the first round of voting? Hugh. Julie Bishop. Correct. 